So this seems a little bit off, not just the fact that they're saying that the economy is recovering well in Canada, which is just a fucking bald-faced lie at this point, but why are they stopping handing out free money, okay? Uh, that's something I see, and it's like, what are they planning, okay? Because they wouldn't all of a sudden, because this is one of those things where it's like, no, we just want people on the government tit, so, hmm, handing out th the free cash, not enough to really survive or do anything, but just enough to just shut up the population. Why would they just uh, drop this all of a sudden okay because it was uh, the whatever economic benefit fucking handout whatever this shit is properly called we'll get to it in a moment it was set to expire okay this saturday like two fucking days from right now so it's interesting to be making these statements right now so let's let's see what they're getting rid of and why they're getting rid of it so Trudeau's liberals to let COVID support programs expire because economy is recovering well. Can you provide any receipts? Nah. Uh, the Canadian government has announced on Thursday that the program supporting companies and individuals affected by the pandemic will not be renewed on Saturday as they were slated to expire. Our economy is rebounding and we are winning the fight against COVID. Hmm. Hmm. Is every province in the union um, uh, locks down harder because they said that they aren't ready and they didn't face the uh, fourth wave or whatever fucking corporate horseshit that they want to spew to everybody? Okay, um, none of the other tertiary signals seem to go in line with what you're saying, so that's just setting red flags off in my mind. Finance Minister, yeah, Christina Freeland, who is, by the way, on the panel for the World Economic Forum, the Great Reset Pushers, by the way, so just need to drop that in there. Canadians supported uh, that unprecedented spending. Oh, we didn't have a choice in the matter, okay, so that uh, you were burdened with it. It was an economically smart thing to do. No, it wasn't. Uh, today, our support needs uh, to be more narrow, targeted, and less expensive. What are you doing here? And we need to look forward to the day now, not uh, too far off, that we will be able to bring it to an end. Oh, maybe they're starting to realize that uh, they they massively fucked up. Okay, they're only going to try to walk it back just a little bit. And it's like, okay, instead of just handing out a bunch of money to a bunch of people, we're just only going to probably hand out free money to the fucking whatever little pet projects they have. Uh, LGB or whatever fucking Trudeau uses to say that LGBT fucking community, whatever the hell he wants to use the numbers and letters and stars and signs. Them and... Whatever fucking migrants get pulled over from those shithole countries. According to Reuters, for the next few months, Ottawa will help hotels, restaurants, and travel agencies. Oh, okay. Uh, that are still facing public health restrictions. Oh, okay, cool. Listen, we're telling you that you have to put on these restrictions. Otherwise, we're going to be shutting you down. So we're going to help you with that. Okay. It will also help cover rent costs for employers uh, who can show that they have faced deep, enduring losses caused by the government. Yes, return to your abuser for more help. Nothing sounds like a, he a healthier relationship. The Canadian federal government has already spent $289 billion in various COVID aid programs to date, and uh, further programs are expected to cost roughly $8 billion for new programs uh, from this time through May 7th, 2022, when things are expected to stop. But no, who knows what kind of crazy shit we're going to be going through until then. Oh, actually, we know exactly what the fuck we're going to be going through. National Standardized Proof of Vaccination for Canada. Cool. I can't... Uh, I just don't have any fucking words anymore. This is trying to find the positives on it, but I... Whatever. Ugh, I'm just gonna go move into the fucking mountains or some shit. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau confirmed on Thursday that your rights and your liberties and your freedoms are over. And that it's just the party now. Uh, that all provinces and territories in Canada will adopt a federal standard for proof of vaccination certificates. How adorable. Certificates have been used for both domestic and international travel, he said. Okay, cool. A standard is already in use in Ontario, Quebec, Saskatoon, should say Saskatchewan if we're talking about provinces, and you even left off Alberta, but hey, nobody's perfect. Uh, Nova Scotia, uh, with a dot at the end of it, that's not an abbreviation. Fucking worthless. Uh, Newfoundland, Labrador, Yukon, Northwest Territories, and none of it. Oh yeah, all of the very populated provinces and territories. Cool. 
All provinces and territories, there they are, have confirmed that they will be moving forward with standardized national proof of vaccination. Cool. Have already put it into use on a national standard. Of, I, I'm not saying it again because it makes me physically ill to repeat. As Canadians uh, still look at stat traveling, uh, looking to start traveling again. This must have been just, uh, I don't know, fucking typed out with somebody's forehead. Uh, there will be a standardized proof of vaccination certificate. Yay. We will be picking up the tab. Oh, cool. So you're going to take my taxpayer money in order to fuck me with it. Sweet. I normally like to get kissed before I get fucked, but I feel better that at least my money is going to this type of propaganda stuff. I know it's not framed properly. Don't sue me. I'll get the facts about COVID-19 vaccines because they're mandatory now. As of vaccines are effective, well, they aren't mandatory. I don't want to give anybody any kind of false information. I don't need to be spreading misinformation. Fuck off. No, they're just going to be mandatory if you want to go to literally anywhere and just uh, pray that the restrictions don't get placed down any harder on you. All of the vaccines are effective. Missing is safe. That's weird. All of the COVID-19 vaccinations authorized for use in Canada are effective at protecting you from serious illness, hospitalization, and death. Wouldn't you think if you have a vaccine, shouldn't it be also effective at uh, keeping you from contracting it oh okay cool so words don't mean fuck all anymore and don't worry yeah oh oh yeah because for right now it's just everybody 12 and older but uh we're gonna start jabbing up your 5 and 11 year olds so they can get on the fucking take as well awesome prime minister justin trudeau announced on thursday in, in this same i don't know ottawa press conference so that's where it was at i don't even have any descriptions for it whatever Prime Minister Justin Trudeau announced on Thursday that Canada will receive millions of doses of Pfizer's pediatric vaccine for children. Awesome. Does it have a little dinosaur on the syringe? Is it cherry flavored? Upon approval by Health Canada that the jab is safe for use for those with the ages of 5 and 11. Cool. Heard that Pfizer has now submitted for regulatory approval at Health Canada a pediatric vaccine. So we bought a whole bunch of it. I think I seen 2.9 million jabs bought up. And uh, yeah, don't even know if it's approved yet. It's going to get approved. Don't fucking worry about it. Not that they've tested it or not that they've researched it for a long enough period of time for to know for certain anything really, but it's going to be safe and effective. Don't worry about it. Health Canada is going to be examining attentively. Oh, okay, cool. So they're going to be what? Reading it with extreme focus? Are they going to have a scowl on their face, squinted eyes when they're reading it? All right. Uh, that submission and even though i know parents are all going to be eager to get their kids vaccinated i hate you i i don't hate people but i hate you i hate you a lot as quickly and as soon as possible and that was a long pause i had to cut out there but um because health canada is oh no i'm sorry uh, i want people to be patient whatever uh you're gonna be waiting a long fucking time my dude Spe for one person it's the only one i can speak about because Health Canada is going to be taking the time necessary to ensure that, like all vaccines approved for use in Canada, vaccines approved for kids uh, uh, 5 to 11 are fully safe and effective. No, we, we got your little propaganda post. There's nothing about safety on there. Literally, there's not. This is an official Canada to government post. Okay, cool. So somebody's lying. And yeah, uh, to talk about something that we touched on a couple days ago, 23% uh, of Canadians said that they will not vaccinate their children under 10 or under 12 years old. Only 23%. This country is so fucked and <laughs> got nothing to say, really. But I got a cool video for you guys to play because this is what I'm feeling like at this point, to be completely honest. <sighs> I feel like this is, well, here comes the government and they're kind of making you do things. And that's what we need to do. So... I don't really know if that's going to resonate as well with other people, but at this point, I could literally give a fuck. But with that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. Follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.